G'day mate, 40 here. So I'm on a hike through Will Rogers National Park, Pacific Palisades, and I'm listening to 2011 book by James B. Stewart, looking out there over the Pacific Ocean. And the book is called Tangled Webs. It's about the Martha Stewart inside a trading case. It's about Scooter Libby and his conviction for perjury and right now I'm on the section about Barry Bonds and uh, Marion Jones the American sprinter who won like something like five gold medals in uh, the Sydney year 2000 election and I, he is a great journalist so the first book I read by him was Den of Thieves and that was about insider trading in Wall Street in the 1980s Michael Milken and company this book was so fun I read it twice and now I'm probably going to get it as an audio book it's just a great embodiment of what narrative journalism can be and Tangled Webs is all about you know, people lying under oath and the damage that that does to themselves, their loved ones, and, and to society. And uh, James B. Stewart just came out with a book on Paramount, CBS, Sumner Redstone, his daughter Sherry Redstone, and that salacious tale that Sumner in his 90s just having all these affairs. <laughs> oh man. So I think I've read like eight of James B. Stewart's books because they're just a model for fair, profound, you know, deep investigative reporting and telling a story at the same time. And uh, one book that he published about 2005 was uh, Disney Wars, about the demise of Michael Eisner at Disney. So. <laughs> I already read it. Probably going to buy it as an audible book because it's just such an embodiment of how to do good narrative journalism and entertaining and wise. And uh, tangled webs, man. Just the the human proclivity to try to lie your way out of trouble. So. I'm on some epic hike here through the National Park. About every hour I intersperse Hobbes Leviathan with James B. Stewart's Tangled Webs. Keeps me fresh and on my toes. And I was going for a giant hike this afternoon, so I ate the equivalent of two lunches. Because one thing I do not like is to be out on a long walk and have miles to go and suddenly get hungry and weak. For some reason I feel that really keenly. Ah, there's a waterfall down there. So I was traveling along, I got to see and hear a waterfall. But uh, I don't do very well with feeling hungry. Right? I always try to make sure I don't get hungry. I don't make good decisions when I'm hungry. I feel like I'm gonna faint when I get hungry. So I had one lunch of uh, kashi berry breakfast cereal, big old bowl. And then I made myself nachos on top of it. So I can go, go, go. Even if I get lost, I have enough fuel. <laughs>